One of the biggest things we can do to improve smart contract automation is to make the balance top up happen on its own. So developers can enjoy the benefits of Gelato without worrying about topping up their balance to continue to pay for transactions. What this would mean is that in theory, Gelato could automate your dApp self-sufficiently as long as your balance is topped up. So how can we automate the automation? A great example of this is Optimism's Drippy tool, a programmable service that can combine different triggers with actions. To put it simply, if you've heard of If This Then That, the software that combines triggers like sending a tweet with actions like an automatic email send, Drippy is an Ethereum native version of that, aiming to address automation problems with on-chain activity and increasing the performance of the Optimism blockchain and it runs on top of Gelato. Drippy sits on top of other transaction automation systems and currently integrates Gelato as the primary layer for automating these programmable interactions. But to revisit our earlier question, how can we automate the automation? Well, to pay for these transaction executions, Optimism deposits funds into an account that can be automatically debited by Gelato. And to ensure that this account never runs out of funds, they set up what is called a drip, a set of checks and actions that basically allow Drippy to act as a Web3 version of automated payment systems, keeping the balance of the Gelato account topped up consistently. Drippy queries Gelato's treasury contract to get the balance of Optimism's execution account. And whenever it drops below a certain threshold, ETH is automatically deposited into Gelato. Take a look at their code for the Gelato balance drip configuration. Every drip has an interval, the minimum amount of time required between each drip. Drips also reference a drip check, a simple solidity contract that takes input parameters, the check params, and checks whether that drip should be executed or not. Here, the Gelato balance drip is using the check Gelato low smart contract to determine if the given address has a Gelato ETH balance that meets the threshold. Finally, the drip also specifies an array of actions. Actions have a target, some data, and optionally also some ETH value. Remember what I mentioned earlier about the possibility of your dApp running forever as long as your Gelato smart contract holds enough crypto? Well, that's what's so cool about this meta automation. Optimism could effectively run Drippy forever as long as the Drippy contract holds enough ETH. To find out more about Drippy as well as Gelato Network's documentation, check the description below and don't forget to follow us on our socials and reach out if you want support in setting up your own auto top-up system for your Gelato automated projects. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in another video.